Paul, and thank you to the rest of the members of the subcommittee for accepting my delegation today. Um, to be you know, pretty uh, succinct and short, I think, with it, it's uh, quite fortuitous that I'm going up after Carl Andrus and after he received his questions from uh, Councillor Wilson, Councillor Johnson, because in a lot of ways, we as Environment Hamilton, who are members of the Hamilton Community Benefits Network, um, do very much want to echo much of what Carl was speaking to to you. Um, but I do also just want to flag some more specific examples of what we at, at Environment Hamilton think that these CBCs could be going towards. So firstly, to begin with, uh, do just want to flag that, yes, this is coming in within the context of our uh, under underwhelming Section 37 performance in the past, and that we really do encourage and look forward to seeing how these CBCs can be used in a more progressive way going forward, especially within the context of the firmer and boundary. And we really just want to highlight that we strongly believe that these CBC should be used citywide. Um, ultimately, within the two year review cycle, that is quite encouraging that if there are tweaks that need to be made going forward, especially with with regards to any potential challenges that that's encouraging. Um, however, it is really important that we get this right. We set some good precedents within this two within this first two years, and hopefully we see some different direction go forward with regards to how these CBCs are applied. So just to begin with, uh, we want to see, you know, further direction to staff and some more commitment from the city of Hamilton to ensure that the EDI lens and the climate emergency lens along with biodiversity lens are really applied to these. Uh, we strongly believe that using these funds for things like landfill expansion and parking should just not be an option um, and that we should really focus in on using these funds for things that can really benefit the city and help us address these multiple crises that are unfolding. Um, Despite being Environment Hamilton, we would like to see, you know, a focus on affordable housing, but more specifically to do with issues of whether we're losing permeable surface and perhaps we can see some money go towards the implementation of bioswales to ensure that stormwater runoff is managed, to ensure that active transportation infrastructure is included within new developments. These are things that CBCs could be used for and that we would really encourage it to be done for. And ultimately, we as well want to echo Carl's comments with regards to community engagement. Um, to our view, this is something that would be really great to engage through the Engage Hamilton uh, 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 platform, and we would like to see some further engagement with the public because there's some really great strong potential with how the CBCs could be used, and we're very sure that the public has some strong opinions about how that could be done. And ultimately, we really want to just really emphasize that and really echo what Carl Andrews was saying there uh, more succinctly than I could with regards to the fact that the city has had an underwhelming performance in the past with regards to Section 37 and other municipalities such as Toronto and Ottawa seem to be doing some really good progressive forward thinking work with regards to the multiple crises that are impacting not just Hamilton, but every municipality in Ontario. And that it's really important for us to get this right out of the gate to set some strong precedents and see what we can get, uh, see what we can get away with. Um, and as there are challenges uh, ultimately into the future, then we can address that. But we should really be trying to, you know, nail this as hard as we can in the first attempt, get some really good community benefits out of out of this and ensure that all future development within the city across the entire city ultimately benefits everyone in, within the city as well. And so that I'll end that with my remarks. I'm happy to answer any questions, but I thank you all so much for your time and your consideration today at this meeting. Thank you, Ian. Well, under time. Uh... Checking the floor, are there any questions from members of committee? Seeing none at this time. Thank you, Ian. We